Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Tuesday Tea with Cinnamon. Now, if you were here yesterday for that insanity, <laughs> you will know that I already recorded this entire video in its fullness, <laughs> and I'm re-recording because my wonderful, lovely, genius, brilliant son turned off the internal microphone in my camera. So I have several videos with no audio. So, <laughs> I've already drinking quite a bit of this tea to get me through the day. I iced it. So we're going to refilm and hopefully we can get through this. Now, when I recorded it the first time, I also showed you Happy Mail. So, I have to figure out what I did with the Happy Mail because I moved it. There's part of it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I should probably pause. I should probably pause and find a happy mail. I don't know why I hit record already. I'll be right back. I found it. <laughs> it wasn't far. It wasn't far. Now, if you have sent me something recently and it's not included in this, it will be in an upcoming video or I already showed it and I forgot that I showed it. Um, yeah, cause chaos, you know, I mean, <laughs> or it was, might have been part of the first video, but I, you know, lost it. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I just, insanity. Now, I do have a package that is due to arrive today, cause I'm filming this on Monday, it is due to arrive from Washington, and <sighs> that package is another story. Um... <laughs> This, this is the package that got sent to the P.O. box and then the post office marked it as I moved and there's no forwarding address and sent it back to her, which it got back to her faster than it got to me in the first place. I had a discussion with the, PO, the post office, like, why are you doing this to my packages? They don't know, but they'll look into it. No, they're not. I know they're not going to look into it. I'm not stupid. It made it back to her. She's all, what do you want me to do? Like, do you have a better address? Because she didn't want to send it back to the P.O. box because idiots that don't want to do their job properly. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to give you my home address. Don't be crazy. Don't be crazy. Don't show up at my house. Don't pass my address out, you know? She, and I was like, I'll give you my home address. And I thanked her profusely because <sighs> now she's got to pay for shipping twice, which is ridiculous. And I'm so sorry that that happened. Um, but I really do appreciate that you wanted to send it back to me. I really do appreciate that. Because one of the packages hit return to sender and that person never sent me my package back. So now I'm sad and depressed because there was a package I was supposed to get and I didn't get. And they just kept it and like now I'm sad. So <laughs> anyway. This is the mail that I actually received this week. I got two postcards from Debbie in Louisiana. Because she loves me and she sends me lots and lots of happy mail. This one is homemade. She made this card. It's got bees and roses. This one's got tea and gluten. <laughs> it's got tea and gluten on it. Um, <laughs> anyway, this was congratulating me on a fantastic premiere week. Thank you so much. And this one she made me because I'm special and she loves me. So thank you so much, Debbie. And then I got a card from Mrs. Pat. Miss Pat is in Kansas. She sent me this beautiful card. And this card says that she thinks Mr. Cinnamon should have won the Academy Award instead of Will Smith for his performance on Cinnamon Stitches for April Fool's Day. <laughs> Which made me laugh hysterically. Oh, don't worry. I'll get to the tea. Because I just realized I forgot about the tea. And then I got sent a hook from Teta. She found this hook on Amazon when ordering from ordering the Omi hooks, which I've been showing a lot lately because I'm in love with them. Um, this is the Divot Shilp brand, which a lot of you have recommended to me. Um, and this is a wood hook. <coughs> the head is very, very much like a Susan Bates hook. And I know that I have a Susan Bates hook. I have one Susan Bates hook to my name. And honestly, it's my favorite of all of my um, metal hooks. I have mostly boy because that was what was available to me. But I prefer Susan Bates. But see how the head is so similar? So similar. So I'm going to test this out in an upcoming future video. So thank you so much, Teta, for thinking of me. Now, let's get down to the tea. <laughs> this teacup is empty except, well, there's tea bags in there. Um, 
I decided I wanted iced tea today. And what I did in the first time I filmed this video is I brewed it hot, but I double brewed it so it's two bags, so it's extra strong. And I put a teaspoon of sugar in just as a little extra sweetness to this. And um, I brewed it hot, and then I poured it in this cup over, I filled this cup all the way with ice, poured the hot over instant iced tea. The tea that we are drinking today is Twining's Berry Fusion. This is one of my favorite teas. It is so delicious and berry-ish. Um, you can get Twining's at Twining's Twining's at any grocery store, but I will also try to find an Amazon link for you for those of you who cannot get out to the grocery store so that if you want to try this, you absolutely can. The ingredients for this tea is rose hips, hibiscus, orange leaves, blackberry leaves, natural cherry flavor with other natural flavors, apple pieces, licorice root, natural blueberry flavor with other natural flavors, acai and goji juice granules, roasted chicory root, natural, natural strawberry flavorings, and other natural flavors. It is an herbal tea. It is naturally caffeine-free. It is really, really good. Like I said, I brewed it really, really um, strong. And the reason I do that is because when you pour hot over ice, the ice melts and it adds extra water to it. So that's why I brew it double. I double brew it, so I double bag brew it. And I poured it over ice. I got instant iced tea. This cup is insulated and it keeps ice in here for like 24 hours, which is fantastic. So this will, I got an echo, echo. <laughs> This cup will actually keep this this cold for till tomorrow. And I know that because I've done that. I've fixed myself something to drink and I've left it. And I go the next day and it's still got ice in it. It's still drinkable. Um, as you can see, it's got a beautiful... It's much more watered down than it was, but it's got a beautiful red color to it. Um, this bottle is really awesome. I don't know if they still sell it. This is Ozark Trails. I got it clearanced out last year at um, Walmart for like $7. It came with the insulated cup, which is plastic on the outside, but it's metal on the inside. And it came with like four different tops. So there's this water bottle style top. It comes with a flat top with a straw. And it comes with a sipper cup for like, you know, if you're drinking coffee, it's got the little slider in it. I cannot open this because... My hands are like, my arthritis is really bad. So I had to have Juju open this before I made my tea. I'm like, can you open the bottle for mama? So, like I said, we've already went through. It's not a cinnamon stitches episode if I don't drop something on the floor. I don't know what, I blame the arthritis in my hands because I cannot grip anything. I don't even know where it went. Like I've said in recent videos, it is a hot disaster in this room. There is just stuff. I can barely walk to the door. It's just a hot mess. But I've drank most of it because, like I said, I have recorded. I'm working on three hours of content, possibly four hours, just today. And I need the constant hydration so my throat doesn't seize up on me. <laughs> And then after this video, you guys, I get to re-record a Hobie video that I re-recorded. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I love my kids. At least he's being quiet, though, because he saw me have my meltdown. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to go. I was like, you need to go upstairs into your room. I don't want to look at you right now. I'm really upset. He's okay. I was like, and then I, I yelled up. I was like, I'm re-recording. I need you to be silent. And he has not. <laughs> he has not made a peep upstairs. He's not jumping around like he normally does. He is as quiet as a church mouse up there. So, yeah, he knows mommy was not happy. <laughs> I was not happy. <coughs> but yeah, I do recommend this tea. And, and I've drank... I drink this one probably most frequently. This one and the um, the strawberry rhubarb one from oh, what is the name? Taylor's of Harriet. Those are like my two favorite teas. I've drank almost this whole box, so I'm probably gonna have to buy some more of this. 
but I believe the first time I tried this, it was in a Happy Meal, and I was like, ooh, that's so good, and who, I, who cannot, who can resist that beautiful blue color? I mean, that coloring is so pretty. That just makes you want to drink it. Because, like, berries are my, that's my favorite. Like, I love berries. Oh, I still have another Happy Meal I didn't show you. Speaking of tea, berries is, and I remembered because I showed this in the last video. Berries is one of my favorite flavors. Um, I also like the Spearmint and Wintergreen, which leads me to this package, which I misplaced the card, but I do remember this is from Melanie at Melanie's Crochet. I will link her below. She sent me this little package. Um, this yarn is from, I'm trying to remember what was in her card because I don't know what I did with it because it's not right here. Um, this yarn is from a Kristen Omdahl liquidation sale that she purchased this from, which was totally ironic. I'll tell you that story again. And then she sent me some tea, which she double checked to make sure it was gluten free, which I totally appreciate. So thank you for that. Um, most tea is gluten free. Um, the, the ones that you really have to worry about is something that might have like caramel flavor. For some reason, caramel flavored stuff like Werther's Original. Like, the caramel stuff has wheat in it. I'm like, does it need wheat? Does it really need wheat? I mean, caramel is just like cooked sugar. Does it need wheat? <laughs> so. So. Um, the yarn that she sent me is Kristen Omdahl Be So Scrubby. It is a sparkly, shiny, plastic, polyester scrub yarn. But the reason I was kind of excited about this, and she said in the video, she goes, if it bothers your skin, like, it's not going to hurt her feelings if I get rid of it. Um, but I was actually happy to see this because when my niece was here last weekend, she took a shower. I mean, she always takes a shower. <laughs> I think she just likes my shower. Um, she took a shower, and she, for the first time, used one of the washcloths that I worked so hard to make her before she went to college. She said, well, I wasn't really using those. I was using a, a scrubby thing. I was like, hey, whatever. Like, you asked for cro for crocheted washcloths. You ain't use any of them till right now. <laughs> the year's almost over with, but all right. She used one that was a scrubby style one, and I made it, and if, I don't know if you guys remember the Oscar the Grouch washcloths that I made, uh, and the reason they were Oscar the Grouch is because it was like a fuzzy, scrubby style cotton yarn for Mary Maxim, and it had, I put a black border around it, I was like, that's Oscar the Grouch colors. <laughs> So she finally got around using that washcloth. She's like, I love that so much. Do you have any more of that yarn? I was like, no, I only had like two skeins and I made both of them into washcloths. And she's all, oh, I really like that. Like it worked good. Like it cleaned me. And I was like, well, let me see if Mary Maxim has any more. And it was, I don't remember the name of it, but it was like a ribbon yarn almost. And it had like a, the bottom of the ribbon looked like um, checkerboard or waffle kind of and then the top had like little fingers of yarn coming off of it which made it scrubby it felt like a real washcloth like from the grocery store or not the grocery store you know what i mean the department store and um i was like let me check mary maxim it's not on mary maxim's website if it is i can't find it and i really like that yarn like it was cool and she's all well do you have anything else that's close to that i was like i have scrubby yarn but i have like rough scrubby yarn that i'm not going to use as a washcloth and so this one is actually not so bad. I mean, it's itching my finger right now, but like it's not so bad. Um, it's not real rough. And I think this one held with a regular cotton will give the same effect that she wants. So I was really glad because now I can make her a couple more washcloths and see if she likes those. Because uh, she's going to be here for the whole summer. And so, you know, it'll be awesome. So thank you for that. But then she also sent me this evening in Missoula. Um, tea. Like I said, she did check to see if it was gluten-free, and it is. And the ingredients, and I can smell it right now because I've already opened it. It smells so good. It smells like wintergreen lifesavers. Like, really, like, oh, it smells so good. So I know that I'm going to like this. It has chamomile, rose hips, lemongrass, papaya leaf, which I've never had before, peppermint, blackberry leaf, raspberry leaf, spearmint, lemon peel, alfalfa, which I've also never had before, wild cherry bark, wintergreen, star anise, 
vanilla, lavender, red clover, and stevia leaf. And it smells so good. It smells really good. Um, I did smell this earlier, but I'm going to smell it again because I really like it. And how many bags are in here? 24 bags. It smells just like, just like wintergreen uh, lifesavers. So, I'm very happy. Ooh, that's even stronger when you open it. This might be next week's tea. We'll see. We'll see. Because I know for a fact I like spearmint tea cold. Spearmint tea is so good cold. Um, it, and it's really refreshing. It's really refreshing. So, that might be next week's tea. So you might see this again. We'll see. Mr. Cinnamon is home. But here's the information on this tea company. Montana Tea and Spice Trading LLC. There's your information. If you want to pause that, I will link it in the description box below as well. So thank you so much, Melanie, for sending me some more tea content. And um, thank you for the hook, Miss Teta. Thank you for the mail, Miss Pat and Miss Debbie. I never call her Miss Debbie. She's Debbie. <laughs> Debbie's my homegirl. So, um, yeah. And thank you for watching. Tomorrow I will film the Hobie video for you guys and show you that. That one is a sponsored video, though, so be prepared. It's 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 sponsored. Um, but, yeah, I will let you go, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.